Hi, I'm Rachel Level with Rachel Level Astrology and today I'm going to be talking about Saturn through the 12 houses. Saturn takes about 29.5 years to orbit the Sun. That's about 2.5 years in each house. Um, Saturn is associated with Kronos and in ancient astrology Saturn is associated with both Aquarius and Capricorn. Saturn represents restriction, obstacles, limitations, oppositions. Um, in the zodiac, Saturn is across from Leo and Cancer, represented by the sun and the moon, and are the luminaries. Um, Saturn is discipline, depression, decay, death. Um, I think I said obstacles and blockages, big time blockages. <laughs> and he is the lord of karma. Saturn is also the timekeeper, and uh, that's what Kronos was, the god of time. Um, he is our greatest teacher. Saturn, I would like to invite you to look at Saturn as a teacher, as opposed to what he gets a bad rap for. Um, his transits tend to be quite difficult, especially on the angles um, and the eighth house, but um, the transits, they do tend to be hard, but I really want to invite you to look at Saturn as one of the greatest teachers that we have, one of the biggest souls evolution that you're going to experience. Saturn, um, Saturn builds brand new foundations. Saturn leaves many gifts at the end um, of his transit, at least from my experience and what I've, from what I've seen. Um, you know, wherever Saturn's transiting, um, whether it be in friendships, money, um, uh, joint finance, or um, higher education, you know, whichever house he's going in, if there are blocks or if there are if there are holes in these situations, in these themes of your life, Saturn comes in and he forces a spotlight on it and he forces you to re restructure these areas of your life. So if he goes into the house of friendships and you have, um, you know, friendships that are no longer serving you, you're probably going to um, see the end to those friendships or and, and, and get new friendships, friendships that, um, that are healthy for you and that um, help you. Uh, same with relationships, same thing. Um, if he goes into the house of finance or joint finance and, and you know, this area needs mad restructuring, by the end of that transit, you're going to be in a completely new place where it comes to finances and joint finance. Um, so I, I really, when I look at Saturn, I look at him like, not just the teacher, not just, and not the favorite teacher, like not the grade two teacher that you go in, he's just like rainbows and butterflies and you know, you, you just love being in his class. It's not that teacher, no, no. He is the college professor that you go in, it's very serious. It's a very serious tone. And you know, there's no goofing around in the class. But when you finish that class, when you leave, you have a brand new understanding that is bulletproof, solid foundation on whatever it is that you are learning from him. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go through all of the houses and um, this is my first series. I was really drawn to do Saturn. I'm very drawn to Saturn. Um, the biggest changes in my life have come through my Saturn transits. They have been you know, they've restructured me as a person. And, you know, he is the Lord of Karma. And, you know, paying back karma is, um, it, it's not easy, but there's freedom in that. You know, there is so much freedom in, in paying off karma and, and paying our dues and, um, and building solid foundations in all areas of our life. So, you know, I, I find Saturn, or I think of Saturn as a blessing. Um, I'm sure he's not done with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to uh, go ahead and go through the 12 houses. If you don't know what house Saturn is, you're going to go by your rising sign 
and you can find that on astro-seek.com you can go ahead and find your rising sign and you know if you drop a comment below i can let you know which house uh, saturn is transiting in your chart and uh that's it have a wonderful day okay saturn transits the second house this is your livelihood and your possessions. In ancient astrology, this was known as one of the bad houses, uh, along with the 8th, 6th, and 12th. But I think most people agree it is the lesser of the bad houses. So um, it was known as the gate of Hades and the idle place. Um, and where that comes from, it's that you're waiting to emerge from the underworld, being in the second house, and you're moving from the helm, from the angular first house, but you're being pulled back by primary motion. So it's kind of like this idling sensation of kind of wanting to move forward, but kind of being pulled back and sort of being stuck. Um, so your topics will include livelihood, how you make your money, um, income, expenditures, time, money again, energy and resources and the job, how we are making a living, investments, food possessions, material resources, future growth and building foundations uh, for your material future. So are you being valued um, at work? Are you being paid your value? Are you be, being overpaid? Um, these things will come into, into the spotlight. Um, you know, if you've been giving too much and not getting back, you know, maybe you have your own business and, and you are giving a lot away, you know, it's, it's going to tighten. Maybe your finances will rise and you will, you will need to be making more money. So you'll start to need to ask for your worth or you know, however that works, your worth will come into question. Your value, am I asking what I'm worth? Are you asking too much? I think in most cases, most people kind of don't ask what they're worth, but I could be wrong there. So it's, it's probably more that you're worth more than you are giving. Um, so yeah, that's gonna come in the highlight. It's all about money, possessions, material, material wealth. Um, so with Saturn here, he's, he's just trying to put structure down in how you make your money. So the eighth house, it, the opposite is the eighth house, and that's other people's money, shared resource finances. This is about you, this is about how you make your money. Um, you know, are you being a good employee? Are you really putting in those hours? Are you putting in that dedication? Um, could you be putting in more effort? Do you need to structure yourself better at work? Do you need to be more disciplined? These questions all might come up um, as Saturn transits your second house. Um, what are you spending? You know, what's your what's your budgeting like? What are you spending? What's your income to your out, outgoing? Um, how much time are you giving for the money that you are allotting? Like, you know, is it worth it? Is all of this worth it? You know, what energy are you putting out? Um, you may decide to leave a job and and get a new job. You may, it's something that is more gainful employment for you, something where you feel more valued or, or a higher paying job. Um, that definitely could happen. Uh, you could get um, promoted, absolutely, during this time. Um, you could be demoted, but I mean, probably less likely, but you know, Saturn does bring, um, he, as I said in the beginning, there's trials and tribulations. So um, I just see that more than likely, you know, expenses and expenditures are going to, going to be looked at. You're going to look at how much money you're making and um, your material possessions and, and you're going to outweigh everything up. If you have to leave a job, you're going to leave. Um, now, if you're not working and say you're a stay at home mom um, or you're retired or what not. When Saturn transits this second house, um, you're going to look at more of the value of, are people valuing you for, you know, a stay at home mom? Are you being valued within the home by the children or by your husband or partner or, or you know, whatever that looks like? Um, could you be doing more? Are you doing a good job? You know, because it, it is a job, you know, stay at, being a stay at home parent is absolutely a job, you know, so are you putting in enough time? Are you, you know, did you, do you think that you need to structure things better? Um, are you doing a great job and, and maybe not getting any accolades for it? I think all these things come into question. Um, so if like, you know, if you're undervaluing yourself, that's going to be looked at. 
Um, and you know, all in all, this house uh, to do with money and is to do with money, our possessions, and it's probably a bit of an uncomfortable house. Probably why the ancient astrolog ancient astrologers actually called it one of the um, you know bad houses is you know whenever anything's to do with money, um, it can it can hold heavy weight for us, right? So if there are changes in finances that are not, are not in our favor. That's definitely um, that's definitely something that's harder to walk through. So, as Saturn transits this uh, second house of yours, I wish you all the best and um, work hard. And yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.